the last thing we want to look at is the effect of an expansionary monetary policy um, under a flexible exchange rate system. What's that going to do? So say, for instance, you've got an increase in the money supply due to an open market operation. Um, that's going to shift your LM curve to the right. So LM shifts to the right because that impacts the money market first. So your LM curve is going to shift here. And that is going to cause your domestic interest rate here to fall below that prevailing in world markets. That's going to cause a capital outflow, same way as we've seen before. Pressure on the currency to depreciate, but it can depreciate. That's the difference now. Flexible exchange rate, so the currency will depreciate. The central bank doesn't have to defend a peg. And as a result of that, net exports is impacted. So we see that under flexible exchange rate system, either when you have monetary or fiscal policy, both instances, you're going to find your IS curve shifts because net exports are affected. So currency depreciation causes a rise in net exports. Think about why. For the depreciation, our goods, South African goods say, become cheaper. So our exports rise. We import less because foreign goods become more expensive. So when net exports rise, what's that going to do? It's going to shift our IS curve to the right. And our equilibrium, final equilibrium, is going to be here at E2. So our income was initially Y0. Our income has now risen. We'll call this Y2. So we can see that our expansionary monetary policy has been highly effective. It has caused output to rise in the economy because it's been accompanied by this increase in net exports which shifted your IS curve to the right. So under flexible exchange rate system, monetary policy, highly effective, fiscal policy, ineffective. Total opposite of what we saw under fixed exchange rate system where monetary policy was ineffective and fiscal policy was highly effective. And this points to some of the trade-off that occurs, that as a result of having free capital mobility, um, if you're operating a fixed exchange rate system, you have to forego monetary autonomy.